This was uh, this one just came by accident when I messed up when I was whistling. I hope to make something of it. Do do. So, uh, that video I just recorded, I watched again. There are a million ways I could present myself. Uh, I try to present myself a little bit toward the average of what I am. Um... Like most of us, there's a lot I would assume not show. And perhaps you can relate. And that's what I mean. <laughs> um, I also don't want to deny that in my brokenness, my clear, evident, I mean, I don't even, I don't, I don't need to say it. <laughs> But yeah, um, despite my brokenness, there's some like pretty beautiful, nice things in my life. And my bad version of throat singing, um, I recognize that it's not sophisticated, but I also recognize, I recognize that it's kind of beautiful. It kind of reminds me of, okay, anybody heard of America's Got Talent? Anyway, these days, I don't know when you're watching this. Definitely not today. Probably not in a year from now. Probably not in ten years from now. But say in a thousand years from now you're watching this. There was this show, if you haven't heard of it, called America's Got Talent. I'm sure you've heard of it. And, uh...
the guy who started the show, who is kind of famously a little bit of a curmudgeon, but when you win his heart, he's like the biggest softy pushover. His name's Simon. And, uh, Anyway, one of the things he said about that show, America's Got Talent or Britain's Got Talent or whatever, you know, pretty much any of the shows he's on, is that if they can find a dog who sings, then, like, mission accomplished. And that's really, really interesting when we think of how much people hate America's Got Talent. Because a lot of people hate on it because of commercialism, commercial pop, commercial culture, all that kind of thing. But, like, that was his stated. Like, that's his personal goal. and He's the guy who made the show. So, yeah, he created a successful business, all this, all that. And, yeah, he's got this tough guy persona and all this, all that. But at the same time, how much more mystical could you be than that and say it in the face of pop culture and not only get away with it but succeed in the face of that disbelief and to my mind there was one dog they had on there that that fucker harmonized and I can only relate in so much as I attempt to harmonize and like I fail a lot but Every so often I hit the note, which is a great improvement o <laughs> over never hitting the note, you know? Anyway, that's all I'm trying to do. Actually, that's not true. I am hoping to one day be a Babe Ruth who calls, who calls the home run and hits it and is a legend forever, right? But not on my behalf, man. I'm toast. I'm toast. But for the sake of the singing dog, right? The world, see, that's the thing. It's not just the world that we dare to dream of. We barely dare at all. The world we are not brave enough to dare for is possible. As much as I like, I really respect Elon Musk and appreciate what he's doing and I understand what he's doing and like, I'm a fanboy, you know? Dude's about the same age as me and uh, I barely got a pot to piss in, but I got one. <laughs> and, uh,. So I agree, I agree with what he's doing. On the flip side, and dare I say, equally as daring, if not more so, and more so crazy, but they thought he was crazy too, is a Care Bear world, man. Sounds fucked up, sounds stupid, but Care Bear. Love. You know, people are going to rip on me for that, but fuck you, man. Care Bear World, Care Bear World rocks. You know? Gets the job done. Big time. Anyway, that's not, when I press record, there was like a split second when I decided I'm going to talk. But what I wanted to do was to develop that sound a little more. And now I can't remember what the tone was, but I'm going to try.
I have to practice. I don't practice that much anymore. time because it's not good enough yet. Every so often it has to be good enough. I know. You're surprised. So am I. I'm just going to practice because uh, I don't practice much, but I might as well show what practicing looks like. Um, I didn't really receive any... I don't know, I think it's interesting. Uh, making more than one tone at the same time. Two is awesome. Three is unbelievable. It's some kind of cascade, harmonic cascade is just, what? And when I first started, I was too embarrassed to record. So I'd just go. But then once I started recording, then when it was done, late at night when I was tired, instead of pushing further, I started just pressing play and watching what I already made and being like, oh, that is so awesome. And, like, it, it is, but, like, it also stops me pushing f further. But pushing further is messy, because it's mostly mistakes. If I never make anything beautiful, if, beautiful, if, if beauty never births from whatever this thing is that I'm doing here, um then in, in a way it's a failure. So in a way, the way in which I'm trying to confess is by displaying my ugliness, which is abundant. And I may never get better. I may always be terrible. In which case, I hope and pray such that my life not be lost. Not because my life is any more special than any life, but because that any life might not be lost. That every life in its own small way may contribute. My life has been a complete failure. Not complete.
good time for the train in the background. I tried. <laughs>